Hey guys, RC Addict Mickey Loco here, and today we're going to be talking about chargers for your RC cars. I get a lot of questions about what kind of charger I use, and all the adapters and everything, what I found to actually work over the years and be reliable. Now once I came back into the uh, hobby back in 2013, what I got was this right here, Traxxas Easy Peak Plus 6 Amp Charger. And what that means is that this can actually charge at a full 6 amps, whereas a lot of the other chargers out in the market um, actually only charge up to 4 amps. So this will actually charge a lot faster. Now this thing's great because it can charge it all. It can charge uh, NICAD batteries, the old style stuff, the nickel metal batteries. It can charge life batteries, Lion batteries, and then of course, what's most common is the LiPo batteries. And it comes with a few different adapters. This one right here, obviously they're gonna have their Traxxas high current one to charge batteries. And then I made this one for the old Tra um, Tamiya Molex style. They had a, another one on here, I forget what, what it was, but this is a thicker gauge for charging the high amperage packs for the RC uh, cars. So I put the Molex on there. And this one was another one for uh, non-standard charging. You can see the wires right here. And I put on a couple different connectors for different batteries I have. So I made it work. And then of course you have the balance board so you can charge from 2S all the way up to 6S reliably. And also, if you want to charge two 2S or two 3S batteries, what you have is this thing. This is a balance board adapter. And so basically, these two would go to a battery, and these two would go to a battery. Okay. 2S, 2S. And you can charge them at the same time. They perfectly balance to each other, which is always best in RC. And then, of course, the last out, uh, input to it is this right here, the regular banana style inputs on the side here which are standard uh, basically throughout the industry now since we're on the subject of adapters as you can see i was getting a little sick of making different adapters to work with all the different batteries like this one's from a um uh, a mini eight this is from little boat batteries uh stuff like that what i found to work best and have all the outputs that i want the exact ones i might use like the might use some old Tamayo one still, uh, some mini Tamayo one. This one is the Traxxas High Current. Obviously, I'm using those batteries all the time, being a Traxxas fan. Here's that mini one that uses for all the boat batteries and mini quadcopters. Okay. This one is a regular Deans connector. I have a couple different Deans batteries, uh, connector batteries. So it has that. It, this little uh, octopus they call it actually kind of does it all and then there's this one it's kind of less standard but it's on there and then there's one of these on there so it basically can charge every battery that I have all in one all done up like this and then the end is your regular banana plugs that just stick into there on the side of the charger here so this is a really great little thing. I think it was like $12 shipped to my door. So I'll put a link for this down in the description down below. This is a great time saver and it's, it's reliable and of course a lot safer than making your own. Now before we get into the operation, I'm gonna go over a few other different things this thing can do. It's quite a uh, full feature for the price, I would say, considering back in the day, if you wanna charge with the LCD readout and all these other fancy features, it'd be you know a couple hundred dollars. This thing was only $99. And there's actually uh, a, a copycat of this one from another company that is still available because this one they discontinued, I believe. And it's an exact same charger, and it's about $54 shipped to your door. So that's a great, great deal. And I'll put a link for that down in the description down below also. So you can basically get this charger full featured for $54. It's great. So it does have a port on the side here. If you want to plug in the temp sensor, it's an optional temp sensor. It sticks into here, and you strap it to your battery, and it'll make sure the temperature doesn't rise too high, or else it'll actually shut it off. That's only basically useful for nickel metal batteries. Uh, the LiPo batteries, if you ever charge the LiPo battery, they'll be as cold as the ambient temperature in the air. So they don't really have that issue with resistance and heating up. Of course, it has your balance board, like I said. Here's your outputs, regular banana ports on the side here. Okay, and then on this side, you can have, of course, your regular AC. Okay, you get powered up from your home. And then this is the great feature right here. What they had coming out of here, <clears throat> a 
just like any other AC-DC charger, they had regular alligator clips coming out in here for your battery on your uh, car. Well, that really didn't work for me because I figured while I was driving to the next point or driving somewhere, I wanted to charge it. And this thing's so small, it actually fits in the center console of my vehicle. Great, great thing to have uh, sitting there charging and I can control it all while we're inside the cabin of the vehicle. So what I did is I went out and bought one of these. It's one of these heavy duty splitters from the truck stop places and it'll split off to you plug in your cigarette lighter and it'll sp split off to two uh, full featured, you know, so PowerPoint sockets on there. So I just lopped the one side off and wired it into my Traxxas. And now all I gotta do is plug it in my cigarette lighter and I still have an extra outlet. I'm not taking up the outlet in the car, right? And then this thing will power up and I could charge the batteries going down the road. So that's a great feature for on the road. All right, so I'll plug it in so you guys can see how it looks on there when it boots up. And the first thing it's gonna ask you is what kind of battery are we actually charging on here? So it gives you the option for LiPos, which are the same as the Life and the Lion batteries. So that'll, this one selection right here will cover all of those. In order to go to the rest of them, you just press this button right here and you go nickel metal, nick add, PB, which I guess is the lead acid based battery. You got your save data and load save data. So we're going to be charging a 2S LiPo today, so we're going to choose LiPo. Hit enter right there. And that gives you the option to straight charge it, balance charge it, which is always best. Uh, you can fast charge it. And then this feature right here is really awesome the storage. Uh, option on here that will bring it down to about 3.86 uh, volts I believe and that'll make it the ideal voltage and uh, for storage and of course the safest voltage for storage on there automatically it'll stop and then a straight discharge option on there if you want so we're gonna go over to balance charge obviously hit enter we have a 5,000 5, milliamp battery so we're gonna charge it at 5 amps and then we have a 2s battery so we're going to go down to 2s on here you hit the negative on here so you can go to 2s 3s all the way up to 6s on here you just scroll through them with these two buttons right here so we'll go to 2s hit enter and then enter and hold and it's going to check the battery to make sure what you selected is what it is actually it's seeing on the balance port there you confirm it, and it'll literally start charging at that point. That noise right there is the fans, the cooling fan. That is the only complaint I have about this. New ones, uh, different ones that are new, um, they all have that noise in them. Maybe not the one that I linked to down below in the description, though, but the Traxxas ones definitely do. As you can hear, it only lasts a few seconds, and then it's gone for the rest of the, the charging period here. So right here it'll tell you how much amperage it's putting into it, how much time has elapsed. What we're doing, we're charging a LiPo 2S balance charging. And that's the current voltage of the whole pack. And then here's the actual milliamps we're putting into the pack that have actually went into there. All you gotta do at this point is let it charge and it'll automatically stop once it gets to 4.20 volts. And per cell, and that'll be right here. This right here, you press positive on here and you can go through so you can monitor each cell individually if you want it to. It'll do it automatically, but you can watch it uh, manually also on here. So you can see these are pretty close to being finished. It'll top it off and then it'll automatically stop on there. All right, so hopefully this helps you guys decide what kind of charger to get. You don't need to buy the expensive ones. This thing is absolutely awesome, super fast, and super efficient. Few adapters, and you're set to go for all your RCs.